And you get Micah out of that jail. He's British, of course, is perhaps my favorite side mission, and one of the highlights of Chapter 3. Rockstar and the game Red Dead Redemption 2, as you most likely know, was developed by Sam and Dan Hauser, two Brits who were born in London. And I don't suppose you could get more British than that, and this mission shows their self-deprecating and ironic sense of humor, while also supplying Arthur with some much-needed amusement, even though, like almost everything in the game, there is the potential for the encounter to escalate into gunfire and death. What the devil are you looking at? I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined! How so? It's a disaster. His costume is so bright, and I really like that shade of blue. Also, he has matching boots, I'll show you. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Note how Arthur isn't distracted by Mr. Margaret's appearance. He immediately assesses the situation and starts checking the cages. Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest... See? Matching boots. Woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. Foreshadowing of the Algernon side quest in Chapter 4. I feel like Algernon and Mr. Margaret would be friends. They should have dinner together sometime. You see, I'm buggered. What? My animals. They escaped. And now I'm... I'm buggered. What, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu Heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. The plains of Ongo Bongo. I just wanted to mention that. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend. Help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If... Well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod. Distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right. Madam. It's bloody Margaret, not madam. Okay, let's go find Margaret's zebra. I like how the game doesn't offer you the chance to decline, and why would you want to? How often do you get to see a priceless tiger, an elusive zebra, and a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyiki? Right, yep. And here is the zebra, or zebra, as Mr. Margaret would say. Look here. What they done to you? Once you examine him, you can see he's a mule, and that will trigger some sympathetic dialogue from Arthur. Whoa, easy. Easy there. Whoa, now, easy. Easy. You're okay. Easy. It's okay. Whoa, now, easy, easy. It's all right, boy. Take it easy. <laughs> 
Here's a good look at him. That would make a nice thumbnail. The mule will follow, but you can also ride him if you want. Seems undignified, but have fun. You found him! Our zebra! <laughs> well, you can't call him that. <laughs> Although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler. Oh dear, you're missing the point, aren't you? It's an illusion. A trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses. Confound comprehension. Hoodwink your audience? Hoodwink? Our audiences? <laughs> dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. No one will pay for the truth. They only pay for deception. <coughs> the allure of the stage. Dreams and reality. Ah. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo Land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning? There, in the glare of those arc lamps, something mundane into something extraordinary. It's the difference between prose and poetry. It's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. Well, as long as... As long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment... Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. But, um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caliga Way. Please. I hate to ask. All right. I'll see what I can do. Just down on Caliga Way, old boy. Won't be able to miss them. Moving on, let's go find Sally Nash. And here we are on Caligo Way, and there is Sally Nash, one of the most attractive NPCs in the game. And here is our location on the western side of the Kamasa River, east of Rhodes. Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. I do have a little bit of a crush on Sally Nash. I'm not ashamed to admit it. She is, after all, the second most famous lady animal wrangler, don't you know? Did, uh, you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <clears throat> nah, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, you weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and... Uh... Now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. You're lying from uh, Timbuktu, weren't you? Oh, from Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. <sighs> of course. Which way to go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. That first set of shrubs, that's where I lost sight of him. I got it. Another easy mission for Arthur, and this would also make a fine thumbnail. Use your dead eye to pick up the trail. Got the trail! Your are paw prints. Let me bring the rest along. You paint this dog? There's some pigment here. Looks like... Like blood to me. Shit. What's this? Oh, darn. 
found your dog. X dog X line. Hey boy. Oh. That little O of disappointment speaks volumes. I love that. Where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took him. <sighs> That'd be stripy. And I always thought they got along. Your tiger is a wild cat? Uh huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. Well, let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. <clears throat> The other half? Really? I'm gonna put them in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, behind that log then. Okay. <clears throat> Grubs up. Stay down. She won't be too far away. Come quick. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, a dog. Ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. <laughs> Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. She shut it. Oh, well, I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. Sure thing. Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. She's still eating. I would have thought, since they was close and all. Well, wild creatures turn on each other. Seeming friendly one minute, dinner the next. Viciousness comes easy. I mean, I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. Is that right? No, not really. Hey, uh... I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. Arthur Morgan. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell me, Miss Nash, how you end up in this racket? I, I guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Margaret, we got to talking, and... But you can probably tell me, in this field, he's the ace of spades. He's a card, all right. It's my modest hope. One day, to be the world's second bravest woman animal wrangler. I'd say you got that sewn up in this. You think? I hope so. Top five, at least. It depends on how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. Maybe one of these days, the best female for the job will actually be a female. Oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. If you're having difficulty driving wagons, switch to first person. We lost the main road around here when the dust was up. Be careful or you might get wrecked too. Okay. You know, the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out. Mr. Margaret's a lot of things, but best female navigator ain't one of them. Uh, I imagine you're right about that. We was tearing around here, looking for any kind of landmark, when over we go. Whole caravan toppled. Found each other and some shelter, but when the wind died down, the animals was gone. But uh, now they're back. Some of them, at least. Thanks to you. Aw, uh, you would have managed it yourself. I just helped you along. 
you ever want to get in the sideshow business, I'm sure there'd be a place for a fellow like you. I'll leave the professional theatrics to better women than me. Yep. There it is, the caravan. Couldn't miss him if you wanted to. Aha! I see you found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good! Jolly good! You know, tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint. Makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're gonna want to be a lot more careful. Strappy eight, King, Mr. Margaret. I saw her do it. So, just so you can keep track, the tiger that was really a cougar is named Stripey, and the dog who was groomed to look like a lion was named King. Moving on. They always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway line, or are you gonna pay me for these misfits? Look, I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cow barn in Rhodes is hardly Drury Bloody Lane. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. Be a dear and fix me a gin. <sighs> if we linger, we can get some extra dialogue from Margaret and Sally. Uh. Thank you, Mia. Yeah. Bottoms up. Mm. Ah. <sighs> sorry, old business, dear. Yeah, it's sorry, all right. That bloody dust, devil. Dust and gin are a bad combination. Don't bring old Tom into it. Let a man have some pleasure. It's been a jolly hard day. Ain't it just? Okay, Emerald Ranch. Let's go see what's in Seamus's barn. That's a dog in there. A dog? Now, if you'll excuse me. Step aside. What? I said step aside. And look at this magnificent King of the Beasts. I know it's a cutscene, but just look at the detail here.
And we've all had days like that. How does the saying go? Sometimes you get the lion, sometimes the lion gets you. One, we need that paw to craft a talisman, and two, that thing is so huge it really shouldn't fit into Arthur's satchel. It's got some answering to do. I never seen one of those before, and I hope I don't again. Amen to that. Out of the damn way. Moving on, let's head back to Mr. Margaret and see what he has to say for himself. Ogis, yes, for turns. Sally, get the cages ready. Yes, sir, Mr. Margaret, right away. man eating lion. You didn't think that it might be useful for me to know that this time the animal was actually real, you moron! Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for... You haven't clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I knew. A knew. goose? will hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand, and they feel the roar. And they, well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is Ramo, boy. Well, it was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is! You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado, as green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes. One man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Your Daddy ain't here, and we had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the line? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. Yeah, I won't keep you. So long. Yeah. So long, Mr. Morgan. Next time you see me, I'll be talking the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. And just like that, Mr. Margaret and Miss Sally Nash ride out of Arthur's life. I'm surprised they left the wagon, though. It looks expensive. They can always find another donkey or farm animal to pass off as some exotic beast from Ongo Bongo land. Come on, girl. Sorry, girl. Meanwhile, back at Seamus's, we can check out his invisible counter and craft the Lion's Paw Trinket, which will increase stamina experience by 10%. Oh, have yourself a quick nosy. After a little tchotchke, are we? Okay, that should work. I just hope nobody's missing this too much. It's worth buying. I'll buy it. And here is the emerald Margaret gave us, which is only worth about $50, which seems light. But wait, there's more. Arthur writes about Margaret in his journal. Met a fella called Miss Margaret, an animal trainer and showman or show woman. Mistress of danger, quite a character. Wants me to find some missing animals. A while ago I met an odd man dressed as a lady animal trainer. Are all Englishmen that weird, I wonder. All his animals were as fake as the rest of his act. 
until I was to find and retrieve a real lion from somewhere or other in Africa. I thought it was going to be another dog, but no, it was a real lion. Thing looked at me like it wanted me for its next meal. <laughs> After hunting a zebra that was a donkey and a tiger that was a cougar and another lion that was just a dog, or I think that's right, I think I've lost track of the whole thing, and an assistant who's a real woman and him a strange English maniac in a dress pretending to be all that he ain't, remind me never to go on the stage. The weird English guy gave me a pretty decent emerald as payment for my troubles. Maybe he wasn't so bad after all. That emerald was about as real as the zebra and worth a whole lot less. Seems Miss Margaret made idiots out of all of us. What did I expect? A man who dealt in fake tigers gave out real gems? Well, you can't put a price tag on fun. It's grease paint, dear boy, the lure of the stage, to quote Mr. Margaret. Whether the emerald is real or not is beyond the point. We got to see a lion up close. Actually, we got to kill a lion up close. And that, my friends, is always worth the price of admission. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. From Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. Of course. Howdy, Snow, finally. Feels good, doesn't it?